change is all around us. Everywhere we look, there's change. We recently and still are going through a financial crisis in our country and across the world, and that has had an effect on businesses, on governments. Everywhere, there's been changes. And ultimately, that comes down to us as individual and has affected us individually. Politicians and new business leaders, they come in and they say, we're going to change things. We're going to make things better for you. And we, deep down, we want to believe that and, and we hope that their intentions are true. But the true change that is really going to affect us individually and ourselves is the change from within, the little changes we make on a day-to-day -day basis. We're getting to be a society, the society we live in of, of we, we deserve this, we, we get, this, we want things given to us. And we're, we're moving away from the, the mentality that we have to work towards those things and, and we just want to sit back and, and wait for others to make a change that will impact our lives. And this change is going to leave us sorely, could leave us sorely disappointed if we're waiting for someone else to make that change. When we have the mentality in this society of give us something for nothing, that then we are no longer taking responsibility on ourselves, but we're putting responsibility to those around us. And that is where we can be greatly disappointed. This something for nothing mentality is a, the downfall of our governments, of our businesses, of our individual selves. And in the end, we are not improving ourselves because we're waiting for someone else to change. And they aren't always looking out for our best interest. <clears throat> Two months ago, I was carrying around 30 pounds. I wasn't carrying around 30 pounds in a bag. I was carrying around 30 pounds right here. I had this with me everywhere I went. And one day I, I said, I'm done with it. I'm not going to carry 30 pounds anymore. It's not me. I'm not healthy. I don't feel good. Nothing about it feels good. So I said, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. I'm going to lose it in 30 days. And I'm going to eat 1,000 calories every day. And that's how I'm going to get there. And so I went to people. Uh, some people asked. And they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm losing 30 pounds in 30 days. They said, no, you can't do that. I said, yes, I can. Then they go, no, 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 you can't because you're going right through the holidays. Christmas, you got Thanksgiving, all those, you, it's not going to work. And you can't do it. It's, it's, it's not healthy. I said, well, I, I talked to the doctor. I looked at it. I have a plan. I've made up my mind. I'm going to do it. I said, well, maybe you can't because you just indicated that you said, I can't. So you, I, that shows that you can't. And when we say we can't, we can't do something if we're saying we can't do something. But I, my mind was made up, and so I went, went through those 30 days, and while each day I made a little change. I watched what I ate, I watched how much I ate, and made sure that what I was eating was healthy and nutritious for my body. And I asked myself the question, do I deserve a piece of cake? And I could honestly answer that question and say, no, I don't. For the last 30 years, I got to cake all I wanted. And look at, I got what I deserved. <laughs> so now, I went through that change and, and in the end, after the 30 days was up, you know what I got to do? I got to put that weight down. No longer do I have that weight on me, with me anymore, and I'm not carrying that. And the reason this came about wasn't because I took something that you know, just made me lose the weight. I didn't sit back and wait for someone else to make the change in my life. No, I stepped up and I said, I'm going to make the change. I'm going to make the daily change in my life. And every day, make that step towards the goal that I had set. And when I made that, all those little changes, they had that effect of me reaching my end goal. I came downstairs one day and my daughter said, Dad, I'm making my lunch for tomorrow. I got my sandwich, I got some fruit, and I'm gonna bring my bottle of water for my snack. I said, great, that's awesome, I love it. You're gonna eat healthy? She said, yeah, Dad, I wanna eat healthy. And you know what? Not 
once while I was going through this did I ever go to her and say, you need to eat healthy, you should stop eating this, should start doing this. I never once said that. But it was the little change that I had within myself that had a ripple effect. And that ripple effect meant to her, I want to do that for myself. And it meant a change for herself. And that, that to me, is an amazing thing of just a little change that we can decide to do, how far-reaching it can affect others. Every decision that we make each day has an effect on where we're going to be tomorrow, a year from now, two years from now. We can choose to improve ourselves or we can choose to wait for others to come along and kind of bring us along. But it's when you will get the true peace and the true, true joy is when you're working on improving yourself, working towards the goal that you set for yourself and going full force into it and taking little steps each day to get to that goal. That's when you will truly find the, the peace that you are looking for and the life that you desire. I can't change any of you. I can't change you, can't change you, and you guys can't change me. It's all up to us as individuals. If we want to change to improve ourselves, to reach that final destination where we want to go, it is up to us, no matter what the circumstances are around us. It's up to each one of us individually. It's up to all of you to make the difference and make the change in your life to better yourself. Now let's go make it happen.